Zurich, the largest city and financial center of Switzerland and consistently ranked one of the smartest cities in the world. Today, Marco Bielinich, roboticist at ETH Zurich, is taking the tram and he has a vision to make this city even smarter by uncovering the transformative power of robots. At Swiss Mile, a company spun off from ETH Zurich's robotic systems lab, Bielinich is tinkering with his latest creation. Me stand up. A robot that can seamlessly toggle between quadrupedal and bipedal modes and is equipped with several cameras, three computers inside its body, as well as laser and LiDAR sensors. We're working on true autonomy where we would like these robots to be autonomous in a way that they can go from A to B. The robot actually perceives the environment and if you would go over a certain obstacle, the robot would know that it needs to step, for example, its legs. It's not just robustifying the intelligence of the robot, but robustifying the hardware so the robot can actually fall, get up without a problem. So it took us many years to reach the state where we are today. Bielanich says adding wheels to his robot was a game changer, imbuing his creations with greater speed and mobility. It can be very efficient on four legs. It can go up to 20 kilometers an hour. In the future, he envisions the bot playing a critical role in last mile delivery. If you look at our landscape of uh, logistics platforms out there, a lot of tasks are being still done by humans. You have vans driving around that have a big CO2 consumption on, in our world. They uh, congest the traffic. All of these aspects can be optimized in a better way if you combine different mobility platforms. We feel like there will be a big variety of different robots that can actually change this landscape. Singaporean professor Lynette Chia is also bullish on the untapped potential of automation. I think automation is really important in cities and we're seeing more of it happening. We see it with our parcel deliveries, so these delivery robots on our sidewalks, very cute some of them. I think they are important to help with the productivity related gains. Swiss Mile aims to commercialize its robots in the future. They're currently working on a version of the platform that can carry up to 100 kilograms, as well as robotic solutions for search and rescue missions, but significant obstacles remain. These robots only become useful if they're truly autonomous. So you want to have a robot that can go from A to B from one building to another. Otherwise, you will still need a human that needs to guide these robots. Another research project at the lab is focused on door manipulation. You need mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, computer scientists that all work together in one project building up a platform. What we are working on is also leveraging data. So with the data, what we are using is to train these robots to become more intelligent. With its ability to drive, stand, and climb stairs, the Swiss Smile robot is at once car-like and humanoid. Plus, it never fails to draw a crowd. In late 2022, the team took the automaton on the road to Jitex Global, a technology exhibition held in Dubai. I see a big interest from industry to commercialize this robot further, to develop its mobility aspect and use it for logistics and other aspects. Other firms are also exploring the last mile delivery space, like Tiny Miles Jeffrey, a pink robot with heart eyes from Canada, and the autonomous ground robots from Starship Technologies, founded in Estonia. Bielinich says that the applications for the robot run the gamut, from supermarket delivery to carrying heavy payloads on construction sites. Our technology is for good. It helps people to carry heavy payloads so that they don't have to do it. And these robots are completely electrified. So in a global sense, if we would deploy more and more of these robots, we can help to reduce CO2 consumption. For him, it's about engineering a future where small-scale service robots, like the ones he's building, can one day assist us humans in our daily lives.